Well, hello everybody. This is Diamond Painting 411, and I'm Rose. Now, if you're just starting out as a diamond painter, drills are another name for the diamonds that we use to complete our beautiful canvases. Another name for drills is beads um, or jewels, People call them many, many different things, but today I'm going to stick with diamonds or drills. So if you're new to diamond painting, I'm hoping that this series of videos will help you decide what you'd like your next project to be or your first project to be. And also, if you have been diamond painting for a little while, Maybe I'll be able to excite you about trying a new kind of drill that you haven't worked with before. So let's get started. All drills have one common feature, and that is that they are flat on the bottom. They have to be perfectly flat so that they'll stick very, very well to the canvas. I'll be doing another video at a later time about problems that you might find with the different kinds of drills. And I'll talk more about uh, drills that aren't flat on the bottom when we do that video. So before we get into looking at the different kinds of drills that are available, I just wanted to explain to you a little bit about why the different types of diamonds or drills, the two terms are interchangeable as I mentioned, are important. Let's go to the fundamentals of diamond painting. Diamond painting is creating a mosaic image by laying little bits of plastic or resin or acrylic down on a canvas that has adhesive on it. So through the process of laying down those different colors of drills in the right spot on the canvas, the canvases of course are all marked, you achieve a mosaic effect of a diamond painting. In many ways, diamond painting is like paint by numbers. Some people say it's like cross stitch or like building a mosaic out of different stones or broken pottery, whatever, except that when you're doing, for example, a round diamond painting, like the two that I have here on the table in front of me, the effect that you get is created by laying diamonds of exactly the same size, but of different colors down on the canvas. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so that you get a more close-up effect on these two diamond paintings. Now this one here is one that I did about a year ago and this one uh, I finished just a few months ago. And um, so we see that there are round drills here and they've been stuck down more or less in straight lines and the diamonds fit together nicely. There's almost no space in between them. And then as we zoom out, we see that a picture emerges from all of those tiny little drills stuck together. And the further back you go, the more you'll see of that picture and the less pixelated it'll become. Now, I've got a lot of stuff on my table here. If you ignore that, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more so that you get an even better effect. For these diamond paintings. So there you go. All right. All right. So next, I want to talk about round drills, which are a very common type of drill, and many diamond painters start with canvases that have round drills. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about why that is and what is a round drill, what are its, its, um, its basic features, if you will. So round drills are, as I just said, round. And I've got four colors out here uh, that I took from two different kits. 
One of them was a more expensive kit. The other was a super cheap kit that I bought on the internet, on Amazon, I think, or eBay. And they create exactly the same beauty in terms of whether you go expensive or cheap. Um, a normal round drill is 2.8 millimeters in diameter. And I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so that you can see these drills a little bit better. And I will hold them up to the camera as we go along so that you can see them better. Now it's important to know the diameter of round drills because as I'm gonna explain in a little bit more detail later, you can only put round drills on a canvas that was made for round drills. Like all diamonds, round drills have many facets cut into the dome on top. These are essentially uh, beads, pieces of plastic that have completely flat bottoms. And I think there might be one or two drills here that uh, have the bottom turned up. So the bottoms are flat, the tops are domed, but there are facets cut into the dome. And in general, a round drill has, some of them have uh, 14 facets or 15 facets, some of them have 28 facets. It depends on the company that you're buying from. It doesn't really matter. They're all beautiful, okay? And as long as the drills are the same size, and you wanna check that from kit to kit sometimes, you can, you can easily mix color, like as long as you're picking the same color, you can put drills that you got in one kit onto the canvas for another kit. So I'm just gonna show you some of these other ones so that you can see the effect of the drills. So here we have a couple that are um, turned upside down here so you can see they're flat on the bottom and then they have many, many facets on top. And I'll just show you the other two colors here that I've got out. There are 447 different colors of drills. I have another video coming up that, um, that I'll be recording about uh, drill colors and the nomenclature for that and you know why it's important and how to um, work with drill colors. Uh, in various situations. And here we have our black drills. Uh, and uh, again, you can see that they are, now you can see that one of these that, that is turned up here is not actually 100% flat. And so that's something that I'll get into in that other video about problems with drills that's, uh, that's upcoming. So we see these beautiful, beautiful facets on all of these drills. And their many facets make them very, very sparkly when they're placed on the canvas because the light will hit the facets from different angles and reflect back. And so you get a super sparkly effect, which maybe you can see, uh, you might be able to get a little bit more of the effect of the sparkliness of these gems. It never comes through on camera as well as it does when you're seeing it in real life, but I think you can see uh, just how beautifully the light touches and bounces off of these gems. And so you get a beautiful, beautifully sparkly image when, when you've got a completed diamond painting. Now, some people prefer working with round drills for a whole bunch of reasons. And they never actually do any other kind of diamond painting. And if that's, if that's your preference, that's fine. The only rule about diamond painting is there are no rules for diamond painting. So some of the reasons that people love round diamonds is because they're so sparkly. And who doesn't love sparkle? They also love them because Round diamonds are easier to place than any other shape of diamonds. With a round drill, you only need to worry about placing it on the canvas in its proper space. 
you don't have to worry about orienting the diamond because it's round. So the focus is on making nice straight rows to the extent that you can. And I'm just going to make an aside here. One of the lovely things about diamond painting is that even if you've got some sort of disability or, or your hands are a little bit shaky and so you can't get your rows perfectly straight, it doesn't matter. There's so much joy that comes from just placing one diamond after another and creating a beautiful picture. In the end, when you're looking at these diamond paintings from a few feet away, it doesn't matter if the rows are not perfectly aligned. And you shouldn't discount doing diamond paintings because you are worried that you won't be able to get the rows perfectly straight. One of the nice things about round diamond paintings and round drills that make them so fantastic, especially for uh, newer diamond painters or diamond painters who might have dexterity issue, uh, is that as long as you can put them on the canvas more or less where they belong, the image is going to look fantastic when it's done and I'm sure you're going to enjoy your project. So for this reason, many diamond painters like to start diamond painting with a kit that includes round drills. And some diamond painters love these round drills so much that they don't ever try other types. I have also found that generally speaking, and again, this is general, there are exceptions to every rule, generally speaking, round drills tend to have fewer problems than square drills. So you're more likely when you're getting a round drill kit to not have to throw away diamonds that have uh, problems. Uh, and like I say, I will talk about the problems that you find with different kinds of drills in another video. And because round drills don't have the same types of problems that you might expect with other types of drills. You can happily buy a super cheap diamond painting kit from wherever you like and you can be pretty much assured that it's going to look fantastic. You're not going to have a problem or frustration of dealing with poor drills. Now I can't guarantee that 100% but I would say that 99.5% of round diamond paintings, you have no problem. You might have a little bit of trashy drills at the end, but generally speaking, your drills are going to be perfect. They're going to look great. And just before we move on to our next type of drills, I wanted to show you close up the different kinds of things that you can expect to see when you receive a canvas made for round drills. So for this example, we have a canvas that's got circles. I call them guide circles. Some people call them dummy circles. I don't actually like that name because you're not a dummy just because you like to have a guide for where to place your drills. Some people call them training wheels. But essentially what the circles do is they help a diamond painter to know exactly where to place their drills so that they get as perfect and straight lines as possible and so a better overall look to their diamond painting. So this is the guide circles canvas. It's an example of it. Now here I have another canvas made for round drills where it's a little bit different in terms of there are no printed circles but you know where to place your drill because the symbol is inside of a white circle so that's kind of a reverse training circle or guide circle and then finally I'm going to show you this last example which is four round drills and there are no guide circles whatsoever. So it's up to you as a diamond painter to place your drill within the space assigned to it by centering it over top of the symbol. Personally, I now prefer these types of canvases for my round drills 
because I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to place my drill where it's supposed to be. And I don't mind fussing with it a little bit. But if you prefer either this type of effect or this type of effect, you'll soon be able to figure out which diamond painting stores offer you the type of round canvas that you prefer so that you'll get the type of guidance for placing your drills that will be most helpful or most aesthetically pleasing for you. Now, I will tell you that one of the things many diamond painters don't like about the guide circles canvases is that unless you place your drills perfectly, your drills might not fully cover those black circles, in which case, especially if you have a light background or a white background, like let's take a look at these P's and H's up here. If I don't place my drills perfectly, those circles will show. And so you won't get the effect of the white or the pale cream color. It'll, it'll be muddied up a little bit from a distance because you'll, you will get an effect of the darker color from behind of the guide circles. So that's the only thing that puts many of us off about guide circles. Let's move on now to the next type of drill.